Gadget RC asks, did you ever experiment with 3D printer nozzle bore sizes? Any benefit to printing larger than 0.4 millimeters? Yeah, so Gadget RC, I have not experimented with this, but I have been watching a lot of videos about this and thinking about it. If you need fine details, then a small nozzle is what you want. But a lot of people who print larger objects don't need those fine details. And going up to the larger nozzle significantly uh, decreases your print time. Um, there are new features in slicers. I can't remember the name of the feature. Crap! There's a new feature in the slicers that basically adjusts the line width as you're printing. So you can actually get equivalent detail to a 0.4 nozzle out of a 0.6 nozzle. And some people are making the argument that you should go to 0 0.6 and, or even larger if you, you know, and you're not actually giving anything up. Someone in the chat is going to remember the name of the feature I'm thinking about. It just came out. It's Arachne mode. Yes. Thank you, chat. Uh, originally, I think it came out in Prusa Slicer. What does Arachne mode do? I think it adjusts the line width. Arachne perimeter generator. It produces perimeter loops and gap fills with varying extrusion width. I was right. It makes per, it makes perimeters wider or thinner based on the detail that you're trying to create. And it basically gives you more detail. It gives you more detail. And so people have said, if you're using Arachne mode, then you can go from a 0 0.4 to a 0 0.6 and you don't really lose anything in terms of detail, or you can stay at a 0 0.4 and get more detail. You know, that's up to you. Uh, I have not personally switched from a 0 0.4 to a 0 0.6. Um, maybe, so maybe when it's time for me to change the nozzle on my bamboo, I will think about switching to a 0 0.6. Most of the parts that I print don't have extremely small details, and I probably could get away with a 0 0.6 with no problem. But the, the bamboo already prints so damn fast that I'm like, and, and my philosophy has always been, if you have a quadcopter that flies good, don't change it. If you have a 3D printer that prints good, don't change it. And I'm sticking by it. 